Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from the BespokePost.com series. Got another package in of course today. And as you can see here, it's a pretty decent sized package uh, on the little tag here. It says Slate Kit Butcher, Spread Butcher. Okay, so thinking butcher block, slate, something like that. Uh, I will say it's definitely not slate because I got a different one and the slate was actually sold out. So let's go ahead and open it up and uh, check out what's inside. All right, everybody, so here we go. As you can see, we've got an assortment of different things. Pretty obvious what some of this stuff is. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the card right here. This one's a pretty pretty simple card, just a plain white one. Now, uh, this kit right here is called Spread, and it says, serve up something beautiful. Uh, now, this did come, uh, had a couple of options with it. Uh, I ended up for two reasons, ended up with, as you can see, a wooden board. Uh, this does also have the option of coming with a slate board. Uh, unfortunately, at the time, uh, they had already sold out of the slate boards by the time that uh, I was able to get in and, uh, and confirm the order and everything. So, uh, and on top of that, I actually thought uh, it, it's definitely a good idea to have the wooden board. Don't have one of those available right now. And uh, it goes right along with our previous video, which you guys can, of course, check out, uh, you know, in the playlist or uh, in our previous videos here on World of Me with the, uh, with the pasta maker. And this is a great board to make pasta on. Uh, but anyhow... Uh, now this, this of course, as you can see, has an assortment of things here, and the basic idea is really uh, setting up and uh, making kind of a serving tray slash uh, uh, appetizer kind of tray uh, with some of these uh, basically condiments and things like that. And uh, it is for, as it says on the back, uh, a cheese board. And of course, that's you know great for serving when you're hosting a small get together. Uh, or a, a small party or anything like that, uh, you know, great thing to have. Now, on the back of the card here, it does say how to make a masterful cheese board there. And it does go through some instructions. It has a little bit of a story here. It tells you, tells you about, uh, you know, setting up your first, your first one is similar to the first time you get to ride without training wheels and things like that. Just kind of that sense of accomplishment. So there you go. It does uh, describe a few other things on there. And uh, if you guys get this, you can go ahead and uh, read that and check out the, uh, the information. We won't worry about reading all that because we don't want to take up everybody's time. So let's go ahead and start right here. Uh, I'll pick up just the first one that's right here. And this is Old Town Oil Chicago. Uh, now, Chicago would be the brand, I believe. And uh, Old Town Oil is, of course, kind of the, the name for it. And this is their signature extra virgin olive oil. Uh, and this is a five ounce bottle. And this is a glass bottle, uh, by the way, just so you know. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, oils are very common with uh, making things of, of uh, dressings and whatnot, where you do like maybe a vinegar and oil dressing or something like that. And of course, having a good uh, virgin olive oil or extra virgin olive oil is uh, definitely something that that can come in handy. Uh, has some has some uh, good flavors as well as uh, you know. There's health benefits to the fact that uh, this is uh, a good olive oil like this versus some of the uh, some of the very cheap stuff that's out there. Uh, now the second one, again, Old Town Oil Chicago, and uh, this is their Reserve Balsamic Vinegar. Uh, and of course, balsamic vinegar is generally considered a little bit of a higher end uh, vinegar. Now, I do know that this vinegar is a, an 18 year aged uh, vinegar, at least according to the website, uh, as I remember. I happened to check it out and uh, it's supposed to be a pretty nice one. So similar to aging your wines and your liquors, uh, you know, you also age your vinegar and it does give it a better flavor and a uh, better quality, of course. So these two things go together and complement each other. They should at least very well. Uh, now, the next thing we've got here is Copper Mills uh, is the company that this is by. And this is their Peach Habanero Jam. Now, 
I'm not one for really hot stuff, but for those of you that uh, like something that's like hotter and stuff and are good with habanero, um, this may be really good. I, I'm definitely going to try it. I mean, obviously we got it. We'll we'll go ahead and try it. Um, see see if any of us here uh, like it, and uh, hopefully hopefully we do. Now I'm I'm guessing this is something that's kind of good on crackers and things like that. I don't know that you really want to make something like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with this. But uh, something that would be good on crackers along with uh, maybe certain types of cheeses. Uh, I don't know if you'd want to go with a habanero cheese or not with something like this. Uh, you might want to go with something that's uh, a little more subdued to kind of balance out the flavors. Of course, you've got the peach, which I think may do that as well. So uh, pretty, pretty nice. Now this is a, let's see, it is a nine ounce jar here. Um, this is... This is pretty much a uh, the standard small size that you would get in a store, uh, you know, basically just a little over a cup, and uh, glass bottle again, just like the others, and uh, it it looks like it could be something that's uh, that's uh, pretty interesting and definitely good for uh, for uh, trying to serve at some type of get together or party or anything like that. Uh, next thing we'll go with is right here. Now, of course, if you if you don't already know what this is, this is a cheese slicer, and uh, this is by Bosca, and uh, it is a mini oak cheese slicer. And now the handle, of course, is where they get the oak from. This is a nice, uh, cleanly finished oak handle. Um, it's actually very nice. It's very smooth and has a nice finish to it. Uh, this would be, of course, stainless steel. And as you can see, it does have the little blue covering here to help protect the cutting edge at the back there. Um, of course, we'll remove that here later on. Uh, now, when you have uh, hard cheeses, uh, this is definitely something that's good. I have always used just a regular knife to cut my cheeses uh, and, and into blocks or, or slices or anything like that. But to have something like this where it can make a uniform cut, because I can always sit there and pull it across at the same angle and have it always come up with the same size, makes it so much more convenient and, and easier. And then, of course, you can sit there and use it as somewhat of a spatula as well uh, when you're sitting there, maybe picking up a few cheeses and spreading them around on, on crackers or anything else like that. Okay, and here we have uh, a little, um, if you can tell, I'm assuming you probably could. It's, it is a bag of nuts. Now, this is uh, a small batch of Harissa Lime, uh, order of peanuts. And these are by the Edley Gourmet uh, Nuts Company. And uh, these, are, these are just a different kind of nut. They have, uh, they have of course, uh, a good coating of, of flavors on there. Uh, let's see if we can remember what some of this is it uh it has dried chilies different spices there's garlic and paprika um of course there is of course salt and uh, uh a few other things that are on here um a little bit of uh lime flavor of course um where they get the harissa lime of course so you have the lime flavor in there and this is all of course on the peanut so these are definitely something that uh, we'll probably try when we put together our cheese board here. And uh, you know, once we get uh, a few different components here, we we'll still need to still need to get a few. But um, definitely, definitely something different to try. Now this is a three ounce package. So uh, right now we've gotten um, a handful of foods, and then we've gotten you know a nice little tool here. And then, uh, of course, the the big uh, the big piece or the show piece, which is this uh, Brooklyn Butcher Blocks uh, wooden cutting board. Now, this is uh, one inch thick, and as you can see, it is comprised of a couple of different types of woods. You've got the darker bands on the ends here. Um, it is uh, 12 by 14 inches, so it is a nice size. Uh, now, I mentioned before about uh, taking this and using it with a previous box that we got, the pasta maker box that we had. Um, and again, you can check that out on, uh, on our previous videos. Maybe look up our, our playlist for the Bespoke Post series. 
um, perfect thing to to sit there and put your pile of flour and mix up your hand mix your uh, pastas with and of course also great to do uh, your cheese slicing and various other uh, foods and products so very simple very straightforward not a whole lot I, I mean there's no it, it's just a flat board this isn't one that has like feed or anything like that so you can definitely easily flip it over if you happen to use it heavily um, with a lot of cutting and end up wearing one side out you can of course uh, turn it over and use the other side um, it has a fairly nice smooth texture um, you can feel just a little bit of the grain and everything so it's not like it's polished and it doesn't have any kind of finish on it that you have to worry about getting into your food um, this is just a straight wood finish all right well guys i uh, i think that's gonna kind of do it this is a pretty pretty simple pretty straightforward review this time uh just a handful of products they're uh they're they're definitely something uh, great for kind of the time of year uh you know holiday seasons and and uh, get togethers and things like that definitely something that can be used for things of that nature and uh, you can get a good bit of use out of something like this. I, I'm sure that uh, I, I can figure out uh, lots of different ways or places to use uh, these different items here. So I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap it up from here. My name's Cougar. This has been another episode of the BespokePost.com series. Now, if you guys want to check out any of the boxes from Bespoke Post, you can go down there in the description below and there will be a link for that, as well as the links to all of our social media content. Of course, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, there's also going to be that subscribe button. There'll be one floating around down there somewhere, or you can go down below the video and hit the one down there. Uh, also, right next to the one below the video is going to be a little bell icon. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and set it up so that you're notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Be it the Bespoke Post videos or any of the other video series that we've got going on. Alright guys, well, I'd like to wish you all a good day and I'll see you later. Bye!